190 scientists submit an appeal to the United Nations against electromagnetic radiation. Ray Consolation tells us why. Nearly 200 scientists submitted an appeal to the United Nations on Monday requesting it to adopt guidelines to protect citizens against electromagnetic radiation emitted from cell phones, laptops, tablets, and other wireless devices. They are damaging the living cells in our bodies and killing many of us prematurely. One study shows that as cell phone usage has spread widely, the incidence of fatal brain cancer in younger people has more than tripled. Wireless utility meters and cell towers are blanketing our neighborhoods with radiation. It's particularly frightening that radiation from our telecommunication and power line technology is damaging the DNA in our cells. It is clear to many biologists that this can account for the rising cancer rates. The constant electromagnetic radiation from communication towers could lead to cancer and also cause neurological, cardiac, and respiratory disorders, scientists say. As cell biologists, we can understand what the cells are saying, and it's quite clear. We're getting into a situation where there's more and more of this radiation in our environment with no apparent control. And the levels are so high that we're getting the biological reactions and the problems, the medical problems, like cancers, for example, that are beginning to afflict people in larger numbers. We've, it's time to do something. This is a critical time. Blank said the increase in obesity, autism, and stillbirths may be associated with electromagnetic radiation in the environment. His suggestion for curbing wireless usage was to turn off cell phones and wireless devices when not in use. However, New York City visitors did not agree. I think cell phones are a good idea, especially when you're in a different city. Like, we are in a different country, we need cell phones to orientate the, the area and stuff like that. So, we will be lost if we don't have a cell phone. I guess so, because scientists have proved that it uh, you know, transmits some sort of radiation, but it has become a part of our life that we can't even afford to leave that. I think uh, if I will ask you your cell phone, give me your cell phone for one hour, I think you'll die without it. The International EMF Scientist Appeal asked the United Nations, its member states, and the World Health Organization to provide leadership in limiting electromagnetic radiation exposure and to educate the public about its health risks. Ray Consolation reporting for Y News.